Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Rewind That. It's your girl, Miss K. If this is your first time coming across my channel, welcome. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos like this one. All right, guys, today we're going to be going over the latest episode of Put a Ring on It, episode number six called Feeding the Flames. All right, so they left us with a cliffhanger again with us waiting on the decision for Mike if he's going to go on another date with Whitney. Now, this would be his third date with her. Okay, so we see that he says, yes, he's going on a date and there's no surprise there, okay? We know this guy was gonna say yes. I mean, I knew it. I mean, he likes her, all right? Now, you know, the other couples are, are just watching and they're just like, tag, like this guy going on a third date with this girl, you know? And then in the confessional, you hear, Hollywood and Ashley talking and Ashley is like look I'm just glad it ain't me you know what I'm saying like I'm glad my man ain't trying to go on multiple dates with one chick right and Hollywood said something very interesting he said you know look if the shoe was on the other foot basically like if if it was me and my woman kept trying to go on multiple dates with this one person I'm gone because now it's like that means you're liking the person and then in the confessional for Mike he says that he feels like he didn't get a chance to really emotionally connect with Whitney. And and that's the thing about this process. I just feel like this is a real crazy experiment. And I think it's very risky to put your relationship on the line like this. Why are you trying to make an emotional connection with somebody? You know what I mean? It's it's weird because it's like, I, I guess that's what this show is all about. But is it really? You know, you're trying to get these people to put a ring on it, but then you also got them out here looking for other people. It's it's pretty backwards, guys, but it's juicy, though. All right, so anyway, we already know that Shay is, like, pissed off. You know, when, when Dr. Nicole said, Shay, how do you feel about this? She was like, look, I'm no longer scared. I'm pissed, you know, like, I'm angry about it. And she should be, you know? So then Dr. Nicole says, okay, let's move on a little bit. And so she starts talking about family dynamics and how people's family history shape how they are in relationships. And Hollywood started talking about, about how his mom, she was alone doing everything. So it kind of makes him feel like, or made him feel like he wanted to go at it alone, right? But in the confessional, he said, look, I didn't really have anybody to look up to when it came to this relationship thing. So now I'm learning because I want to create something new for the generations to come. So that was good. So I like his attitude of the breaking curses type of thing, all right? But we're not gonna really get into that whole thing with this session. I just wanted to throw that out there because what I really wanted to talk about was I wish that Shay would have shared some experience about where her background come from because the girl is just a piece of work and I am so curious to see where she's getting this type of behavior or what his shapes her to be the woman that she is all right but let's move on okay okay so now like I said before we're gonna go couple by couple like we were doing in the past two videos all right so we're gonna stick to Mike and Shay since we started off with them Mike and Shay are now at their apartment and they are waiting for Shay's date to get there okay and she is in this sexy outfit guys I mean when I saw this outfit it looks like you know there's just she has no panties on or anything like because it's like slits going down on the side and it's bare skin. So it's like, does she have panties on? Like that's something to be going on a date. You know, you have a man and you going on a date with the dress where you're not supposed to wear panties. Now, I don't know if she doesn't have them on, but that's what it was looking like. Okay. And Mike was not happy about how she was dressed. He said, it looked like you're going to the club, things like that. Shay is saying, you know, she's in a confessional and she's saying, look, I was happy to be going on another date, but I was even happier to see that he was upset about it. You know, cause she was saying, look, I thought that by this time in this experiment, we would be halfway on our way to a proposal. But instead, I'm starting to see that this might not be what he wants. Like she's starting to see that Mike might not want that life with her. So she has to start looking at her options, you know. 
Okay, so anyway, so Mike is telling her, look, stop playing with me. I'm not in the mood to be laughing with you and all that stuff. Don't try to go on this date and be extra because you you seem like you're too excited and everything. And she's like, well, you were excited, you know, and he said, no, I was chilling. But if you want to act like that and, and do the most on your date, then I got more dates I can go on too. So he is being super petty right now. All right, so now let's fast forward to when her date comes, Shay's date knocks on the door guys okay and yes he is a light-skinned brother okay normally if I was on the dating scene which I'm totally not right my preference would be chocolate type but listen this guy his name was Rick he was a cutie okay and uh yeah now even Mike knew that he was a good looking brother okay because he said come in have a seat yo Shay you go sit down let me talk to this man <laughs> He sat him down and was like, listen, bro, be respectful and we won't have no problems, this and that and the third. Like, he trying to let Rick know, this is my girl. Don't touch, don't do nothing crazy, okay? Now, he didn't do all that with Peyton because y'all remember last week what he said about Peyton when she was like, oh, he was cute. He interrupted, was like, oh, he wasn't that cute. You know what I'm saying? But Mike sees he cannot say that about Rick, okay? Because Rick is handsome. So what? He handsome. He's tall. Uh, what? He plays basketball overseas and all that. Listen now, honey. He seems like he's a catch. So anyway, Shay goes on her date and she's kicking it with Rick all right and they seem to be hitting it off you know he's telling Shay that she's beautiful and everything like that so she starts asking questions like do you have kids and he says no and listen it looked like it lit her up when he said he didn't have kids so then she says do you want kids and he's like yeah so it was like her light kind of went out it it dimmed a little bit when he said he wanted kids so she was like why like it's like girl what is on your mind honey look Personally, I haven't met too many people in my life who have expressed that they did not want kids, okay? And I'm not saying that it's abnormal for people not to want kids. Every now and then you will meet someone that says they don't want to have kids, okay? But most people want children. And she's over here like, why? Why do you want kids? Girl, you better go on a dating site or something and let it be known all your stuff that you don't want. You know, everything you're looking for. Oh, she's just getting on my nerves. Anyway, but the thing that I liked about this conversation is that it seems like they're getting everything out the way. You know what I mean? So that if things didn't work out between her and Mike, Rick knows her expectations and she knows his like. She even said, look, even though I don't want kids, when I saw his face light up and the way he was when he talked about having kids, it actually gave her some type of hope. It, it actually made her excited. Seeing him get excited made her get excited. So that's cool. And that happens too. There's people that they're like, you know, I don't want any children. And then sometimes they get with somebody that makes them want to just expand that love and spread that love. All right. So you never know. Okay. Now she was also saying that she probably likes to get his number so that in case you know, things don't work out with her and her man that she has, Mike, then she could make some phone calls. Now that was, I like how she was honest about that, you know? So she's not making it seem like the guy is a rebound, even though that is some rebound stuff. <laughs> she was honest. She let it be known. Look, bro, if you open to that, then we can make that happen. And you know, these people that are coming on here, they, they understand that because that is the experience that they signed up for. Okay. Anyway, let's move on to Mike and Whitney's date. So, you know, Whitney comes through and I like to say this time, you know, she was, she wasn't like revealing with her outfits, you know, listen, she's a pretty girl. All right. And Mike says every single time he sees her, she's always glowing. She's always looking good. So one thing that concerns me a little bit with this situation with Mike and Whitney is that his physical attraction to her is kind of just leading the way. Like, you know, it's almost like, do you really like her or is it just the looks? Because he talks about her looks all the time. Yes, he does say that she shows him that there's a possibility that, you know, there's women out there that don't mind his situation with his son moving in and blah, blah, blah. You know, yes. 
But he doesn't talk about those things as much as he talks about her looks because he is like, <laughs> he's open off of her looks. That's all I got to say. Okay. Now they're over there feeding each other fruit and stuff. And she brings up a question which says, you know, how have things been going since you started this process? Because now she wants to be nosy, which she did admit. She wants to be get nosy and all into his business about what's going on at home. And I just kind of feel like she should have just left that alone a bit. I mean, curiosity, I understand. But Mike shouldn't have told her, look, she doesn't want my son to move in. And, you know, I want my son to come live with me. I just think that was too much information that he gave her. And it's almost like something that men do, like when they're cheating on their woman or whatever, like they complain about her to the next chick and all that. And that just kind of reminded me of that. Like, so now we get to the point where Whitney is telling him that I feel cheated in this process. You still have someone to go home to. And then we go on a date and then I go home and I, I can't even text you, you know? So she's really trying to push things here. So it sounds like she's not really feeling the process because she's starting to like him. She's saying that, you know, I feel like if you didn't have these restrictions and you were free, we would have been further by now. So I don't know what she means by that. Do you mean sexually? Like y'all would have got physical with each other? I mean, that's, I wanted her to say a little more, you know, what does she mean? And so Mike he really feels like he's in a tough situation as well because he's like, yeah, I can't really pursue her the way I want to pursue her because there's boundaries. And that's why I'm saying this whole experiment is a little too risky for me. Okay. Catching feelings and all that. I just don't, I don't think it's cool, but yes, things are heating up and that's all I can say. Now let's move on to Vince and Tamika. All right. So far, things with Vince and Tamika haven't been so interesting. So when it's not that interesting, I just glaze over it a little bit. All right. So, you know, Tamika and Vince are waiting at their apartment and Tamika's date comes to the door. Now, he looks like he is an older guy. Vince is pretty rude. Close the door on the man. Don't even let him come inside or nothing like that. You know, his date Jazzy came inside. You know, I don't know why he didn't allow Tamika's date to come in. Anyway, so... She goes on the date. You know, the date seems okay. They were talking. The guy said he doesn't like drama. You know, he doesn't really even like to date online and all that stuff. So the date was corny. Let me just put it, put it out there. It was corny and that's that, okay? And then also Vincent went on his date. He went out to eat with this woman and this lady was cute. And she looked like she was kind of his type, okay? From what I'm seeing, if you look at Tamika and then you look at this lady, you know, they got that natural look and everything. It seems like that she would have been his type of chick, right? And so they're talking and the chemistry going on between them, it was kind of obvious, right? And so he told her that he's into photography and she says, oh, you know, I Dibble and dabble and that a little too, you know, she got her little knowledge about photography. And so they're sharing some things that they have in common. And Vince is liking this, okay? Vince says in the confessional that in so many words, I'm just going to tell you guys in so many words that he was basically saying that, you know, he's tired of Tamika not trusting him and it gets draining, you know, so he wants something refreshing where he doesn't have to deal with that. So now he is even more open because he's getting tired of Tamika not trusting him. So guess what, guys? It wasn't a surprise. And I hate to, you know, jump ahead. But if you're watching this, I'm just going to safely assume that you saw the episode. So basically, I'm not surprised when by the end of the episode, he decided to go on a second date with this lady. I'm j I just wasn't surprised. I just had a feeling, especially with the things that he was saying in the confessional. All right. Now let's move on to Ashley in Hollywood. So they're at their apartment and Hollywood is getting ready for his date. And, you know, his date knocks on the door. You know, he got his little banana shirt on. And Hollywood, he just really plays too much, okay? Because Ashley was like, oh, you looking good and everything. And he said, yeah, you like my bananas? You know, the bananas on his shirt. And she said, yeah, I like them and everything. And so he said, yeah, well, I hope she like my banana. He plays too much, okay? You know, they were good sports about it. Hollywood's date knocks on the door. 
and she was an attractive woman as well. You know, so Hollywood is doing this playful prayer or whatever before he goes out, before he leaves Ashley to go on a date with this woman. All right. So they leave before they leave. Ashley tells them, you, you better not play with me, like be on your best behavior. OK. All right. So they go on their date and it wasn't all that, you know, Hollywood was saying he loved the fact that she was thick. You know, she had booty and all that stuff. But she wanted to talk about Ashley. And he's like, I don't want to talk about Ashley. Like, he's trying to just go on a date and have some fun. And that's it. Right? So then we have Ashley going on her date with Kwame. And oh my goodness, she's like totally attracted. Oh, his teeth is nice. His skin, his beard, like everything about this man. She was feeling it. Okay? They went on their date. She was talking about how the chemistry was just so so electric or magnetic or whatever she said between them to the point where she just felt the pulling, honey, the pulling in her soul. <laughs> so she was saying that she hasn't felt this way in such a long time. It reminded her of when she first got with Hollywood. Now she's been with Hollywood for nine years. And so it's been a while since she's had this feeling, this brand new feeling. And now, no, that feels pretty good. You know, that new love feeling or that, you know, excitement when you first get into a relationship you really liking somebody so for her to be feeling that way with this guy and they just met that's pretty who that's pretty serious like I said risky business okay but anyway her date he's from New York and you know she's from New Orleans but I think they're in Atlanta at this point right but anyway so the point that I'm trying to make guys is that the way she was talking about him I just knew I was not surprised with her. I was not surprised that she went on a second date and who we going to talk about that as well. So she had a nice time. She was showing him all her little tricks. You know, he said, look, I could skate, but I ain't, you know, doing all that. I can't do all them tricks. So she's showing tricks that she could skate backwards and do this and do that crossover, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, she had a nice time and that was that. So let's move on to the group session. Okay, so now we're at the group session with Dr. Nicole. And when Dr. Nicole asks about the dates, you know, she's talking to Mike and Mike tells the group that, you know, Whitney wants more of him basically. And then, you know, he says to Dr. Nicole, look, I don't think she wants to adjust any boundaries, you know, like basically he doesn't think Shay wants to adjust any boundaries. And Shay's like, you dare going right. You know, you ain't got to think. I don't want to adjust any boundaries. But it's like without boundaries, what would be the point of this whole experiment? Like there has to be boundaries. Adjust boundaries for what? Like at this point, I don't really know what to say because like I said, this experiment is just, it's too crazy. Whoever put this together, the mindset, I don't know what they were thinking about. But to me, this is the type of stuff that can ruin a relationship. I don't really see how it's going to fix it. At the same time, I do because it's like, you know, it can make you appreciate the person that you're with. Right. OK, like with Mike and Shay. Shay says that since she's been going on dates, Mike has been more attentive towards her. He's cooking for her. You know, he's taking care of her, this and that. And the third he wants to talk to her all the time, things like that, right? That's great, right? But on the other side, he's also pursuing this other woman. So how much is it really helping their relationship? It's almost like he's only trying to cater to her or cling to her a little bit more because it's his ego. His male ego is saying, uh-uh, she's mine. You know, I'm not going to let nobody else have her. I don't want her feeling like she's missing something out there. So I'm going to give it to her at home. But then again, I want to get mine from somebody else or keep doing what I got to do. You know, like it's just, it's a mess. Anyway, but of course, Shay says, you know, I want to end this process with us still being together. I don't want some chick dancing around my man, you know, and she says, but she still wants him to have the experience of dating someone that he's attracted to. But that's what I'm saying, guys. Doesn't that sound crazy? Like this is nuts. 
So now that it's time for Shay to explain her date, she talked about how tall her date was, how handsome he was. He's a basketball player overseas and blah, blah, blah. And that they had a good time, you know, and that he is her cup of tea. And, you know, Mike is over there talking about, mm hmm, yeah, light tea with a whole lot of milk and all that stuff. But, you know, he's hating a little bit. So when Dr. Nicole asked him how he feels about it, he tells the truth. He said, look, I'm getting a little more jealous, you know, and that's something different because he wasn't getting jealous like that before. And it makes him want all of her attention now. See, like I said, that male ego, that's all it is. And I'm not saying he doesn't love her, but I'm just saying him trying to pursue this other chick is it's just too much. He's doing too much juggling for me. Anyway, so next we move on to Vince and Tamika. Tamika tells the group that she thought her date was handsome, but he was very talkative. And the talkative thing wasn't necessarily bad, but it was different because she can't get somebody to talk. No shade. <laughs> her own man doesn't really talk that much to her. All right. So then we get to Vince and he talks about how his date was attractive and they had a lot of things in common and all of the above. All right. Then we get to Hollywood. And Ashley, they talk about their dates. Hollywood talks about how his date is nice and had good booty and all that stuff. But she wanted to talk about Ashley too much. So he wasn't happy about that. So Dr. Nicole says, look, before we sent you out on a date with somebody and you wasn't happy with that person because they didn't have enough booty, right? Now we send you somebody with the booty and now you're not happy with that. What does that tell you about yourself? So he said it. Let me know that booty ain't everything. You know, having a woman with the booty ain't everything. I actually want more than that. Like she got to have a good body and she has to have some substance as well. I got to be interested in her as well. So before I move on to their decision time, I want to talk about a little something that Dr. Nicole was, was telling the group during her little discussion with Tamika and Vince. Tamika and Vince had some little squabble before they came to a group that she was upset about, about an old text message or something like that, right? And Dr. Nicole was saying that, you know, you guys fight very unfairly. One thing that stood out to me that she said was respond to what you heard versus what you know you're going to hear, right? And that is so freaking important because so many times in relationships and I could even say this with my own relationship I've almost been with my husband for 20 years right as you grow in a relationship that you've been in for a long time there's different patterns right and you're growing each person you could be growing together and you could also be growing individually you know and sometimes the way my husband and I respond to each other we could be responding to each other based off of what we think we know they're going to say because we know them. Like, I know how you will respond to this. And he's feeling like he knows how I would respond to something. So if I ask a question, he's already jumping to either having an attitude or getting offended. Like, if you had an attitude problem in your relationship and now you're changing that pattern of attitude but they're still treating you or responding to you based off of how they're used to you responding, that just continuously creates friction in the relationship. And so it's so hard to move past it if one of you guys or both of you guys are stuck on who you used to be. Give the person a chance to show you that they are that new person, that they've changed basically. Anyway, guys, we're going to move on to decision time. And like I was saying before, I was not surprised about how this thing went. OK, you already know, Mike, he want to go on another date with Whitney. Earlier in this episode, he tried to say, oh, the last time when I went, I went on a date with her, we didn't really get to vibe the way we should have because bringing up the boundaries situation kind of put a damper on our date. So I would just want to give it one more shot. Yeah, whatever. Just be honest and say, you really like the girl. You want to continue to go on a date with her. That's it, right? Because here you are again on a fourth date trying to come up with some other excuse. Oh, I really just want to connect to her emotionally. Why do you want to connect to this woman emotionally? Like you might as well pack up and run or, or just pack up and go now. You know what I'm saying? Just like what Hollywood said, 
he said, look, you start wanting to go on a date with somebody else, then I need to go because now you liking someone else. And he even said, if I feel like I want to go on another date, like a second date with somebody, now I feel like I'm cheating, you know, because I'm over here liking some other woman. And he is so right. Now, they did sign up for this experience, like I keep on saying, but he makes perfect sense when he says this perfect sense because it's like bringing this mess into your relationship and you got feelings for somebody else like that it's just nuts okay now Ashley is deciding too she wants to go on a second date with this guy and you know that pissed Hollywood off okay then we got Tamika she said no I don't want to go on another date with this guy and here we have Vince. He said, yes, I want to go on a second date with this chick because they had some good connection, okay? Tamika tried to act like that really bother her. We know that ain't true, boo. That is not true, all right? But I was not surprised, like I said. The way things were going on Vince's date and on Ashley's date, I knew that they were going to want to go on a second date with these people, okay? And of course, Shay. I knew she was going to want to go on a second date with her boy, Rick, all right? But you know what? Good for Shay because now she don't have to really feel too bad. I mean, look, she loves Mike, but Mike is over here pursuing the heck out of this chick, Whitney, okay? So look, Shay got to do something. She got to have a backup plan like she already saying, and I am not mad at her. Like I said, Shay need to find somebody that's suitable for her all right anyway so things are really heating up guys and next week it looks like it's gonna be hotter and everything so this show is really getting good am I still confused by the whole notion of this show yes I am <laughs> as time goes on but it's still juicy all right let me know what you guys thought about this episode make sure you like comment subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload more videos like this one. Until next time, take care and be blessed. Bye-bye.